guys, today we're gonna show you how we finish off this farmhouse hutch that we painted live on Wednesday. Today I'm going to show you how we sand it down to just knock down the texture just a little bit to give it some distress and how we're going to seal it with a clear coat so it's ready for the shop. This hutch started out as your like traditional 60s honey oak hutch. Great bones, not the best look and I wanted something a little bit more chippy and farmhouse. So it started out, Zeb and I took this piece, I used my dusty paintbrush and I painted on kind of a sloppy first coat of DIY's vintage linen. Then Zeb followed behind me with milk paint that we mixed up. We mixed up 50-50 Sweet Pickens Pantry Door to Sweetie Jane and we added no extra bond to it. He came right behind me and painted while the paint was still wet. So we got a little bit of blending, but there were still two separate colors. We didn't use the squirt bottle on it to mix the colors. We just went ahead and painted together. And then I used a squeegee that we have from Mod Podge to kind of smoosh the paint and build up texture and also distress it in a few areas. To cover this piece with both colors, we used a pint of vintage linen and about a pint of this Sweet Pickens milk paint. If you were wanting the exact look, you'd have to order a pint of Sweetie Jane and a pint of Pantry Dora, but remember to only mix up the milk paint that you're going to use. So just use a little bit at a time. Once the milk paint is mixed up, it keeps for about 24 hours, but sometimes it only lasts a few hours. So just mix up what you need, and if you need a little extra, then mix that up at that time. To get started, I've got my mask. It's just a dust mask. This paint is not toxic, but you also don't want this powder in your lungs. So I'm gonna put this on and use my Orbital Sander. It's made by DeWalt. We've used this one for a long time. It's held up really well. And then we've just got 220 sandpaper on here, which I feel like is the perfect happy medium between you know, getting a good distress, but not getting any squiggles. So this is my go-to when distressing. On this piece, you can see that there's some built up texture, but then you can see over here where it's kind of brush strokey. So when I'm sanding it, I'm smoothing out some of these brush strokes, but not getting rid of the texture. We've removed all the sanding dust and the next step is to seal it. We could use a clear wax on this, but waxing the inside of details and getting up in all the nooks and crannies is not exactly easy. So I'm gonna be using Sweet Pickens Top Coat. It's very matte. With a piece like this, you don't want a super shiny finish because that takes away from the layered farmhouse vibe. So Sweet Pickens Top Coat is perfect. You can brush it on or you can spray it like we're doing here. We don't water it down, we just spray it full strength. We've got our central pneumatic gun. It's set at 60 PSI. You may need to adjust your spray gun up or down depending on the air compressor and a few other things but once you get it right, about 60 or so PSI is correct. You definitely want to wear a mask. Even though it's all natural, non-toxic, you don't want to be breathing this into your lungs. So I'm going to mask up and then I'm going to spray two coats on this and it'll be good to go. All right, so the hutch is finished. I don't really think it was like super complicated. Really just like layer it up, make it look like a hot mess, use <laughs> good paint. I mean, we were pretty much winging it. Jamie's like, yeah, let's paint it white. You follow behind me. This was the conversation before we did the live video. She's like, I'm gonna put some white paint on there real quick. You mix up the milk paint so they can see how it's done. And then you start putting it over the white paint while it's still wet. And, and it'll be go. fine. Here we are. And it looks amazing. I wish you guys had like texture vision. I'll have Zeb put some close up. So you could definitely just use DIY paint and vintage linen and apothecary and probably get a fairly similar look. But I always like to push the envelope. Like why not mix milk paint and DIY paint and see what happens. It's all water based. And sometimes, especially if you've been using a lot of brands that we have, you have a little bit of this paint, a little bit of that paint. 
So it kind of makes sense to like layer them and mix them together. The DIY is what gives it the texture. Yeah. And then using the little squeegee, we like built it up. And if you just watch this video, be sure to catch the live too, because you can actually see the process unfolding with both of us. And I think sometimes if you watch it real time, it really helps figure out the process. If you want to achieve this look, you can go to jamierayvintage.com and purchase the products that we used. We have DIY and vintage linen, then we mixed milk paint in Sweetie Jane and Pantry Door 50-50. So one part Sweetie Jane, one part Pantry Door. The top coat we used was Sweet Pickens top coat, and it's a great top coat because it's really matte. It can be sprayed or brushed on. So when Jamie was sanding this, a lot of people were worried we were going to take all the texture off. Like why bother building up the texture if you're just going to sand it? it's still there. What we were doing is sometimes when paint builds up when you get textures, if you run your hand over it, it'll almost cut you, it's sharp. So we just wanted to get rid of those sharp pointy ridges. So now it's nice and soft, you can wipe it down if you need to, and it's not gonna hurt you. This piece cost me $60, and it's gonna be for sale at our shop for $325. So that gives you a good idea of the profit you could make from a similar piece. It's not a super big hutch, but it's darling. It would look great in an entryway, a buffet, in a craft room corner of a kitchen. So if you like these Wednesday videos where we kind of show you live in real time what we're doing and then follow up, be sure you're sharing it with all your friends that might be wanting to come tag along with us on our Wednesday live videos. And if you don't catch it live, you can always catch the replay because I upload them afterwards so that they're there forever. We love being able to provide you guys with tips and tricks and everyday information that helps you guys with either your home decor or DIY projects or if you're a furniture flipper yourself. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.